Hey there, it's Lady with Mike, and we are back with some more reactions. So, right now, I want to show y'all this video. I saw this video circulating on the socials, and I was like, there is no way. There is no way this is real. So, I'm going to try to take a look at this video, and then we're going to talk about this. So you see what I'm saying? I feel like this video was not real, but it is real. I was like, okay, maybe he's on like one of those fake planes. You know, like the fake planes that people be like, oh, I'm about to jet out to see my boo. I don't know. <laughs> uh, like something like that. I'm like one of those little fake, like little plane things you can take pictures on. I thought he was on one of those, but no, and this is a Delta flight. Cause I was looking, I was like, what airline is this? And it was Delta. And I was like, Lord Delta, what's, what's happening here? First of all, okay, I, 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 I want to know. I didn't know you can have like those big batteries. You can carry those through TSA. I thought you had to check those batteries, but maybe, maybe I don't know. I don't know. Well, maybe I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. Second, I feel bad for people that may have shellfish or seafood allergies because this man just put a whole thing of shrimp in the sink. Third, he put a whole thing of shrimp in the sink and some mashies. That's unsanitary. That's very, very nasty. Ugh. And I'm like, how is he sending the picture about some success? Uh, no, fail. That's nasty. They don't clean those sinks like that. And you just over here just cooking and clean, uh, cleaning. You didn't clean nothing. You just over here cooking and uh, making your little mashies. You filled it up with that water. Ugh. Are you okay over there? First of all, I don't even like stepping foot in the laboratory on the plane. And for you to have like a cook a whole like little meal on this plane, I, oh boy. And then I would probably feel like you would smell that, right? Well, maybe not, but I feel like shrimp has like a, a stronger smell that you would smell something like that. I, I mean, I cannot get over that. I feel like I don't have the right words to describe how I feel about this man cooking shrimp and mashies in the sink and taking his hand and and then he just i'm like oh my god did you at least wash your hands i can't i just because ew anyway let's move on to the next person y'all tell me how y'all feel about that because i feel like i don't have the proper words to say because this man has made my stomach turn upside down all around i cannot anyway let's move on to the next person He's pouring on that. Is that wine? Ew. He's just gonna play. Oh, God. Is this on another Delta flight? Okay, so who's inspiring who at this point? Is this a, is this a trend? Is this a thing that people are going on the airplane and they are cooking food? Who's giving y'all this idea to say, Hey, I'm gonna go cook on a plane today. That's nasty. Okay, so first of all, you put like the candle in the toilet. I, I just feel like it it could have just went left. Thank God it did not, but in the toilet? So you put the tin foil top thing on on the toilet, ew, and then you lay your little green leaf on the on the sink and then you i see you had filled up the sink with some water because there was one in there floating at one point and you i just oh my god it just seems 
Like nobody cares about sanitation. And this is probably why I don't do potlucks. I'm not saying that everybody is like that because they're not. However, when I see stuff like this, and then it's like, let me the same ones that we cover to work. And it's like, we have a potluck and I'm like, how did you fix that? I need to, I need to step by step. I need to see you fix it. <laughs> but yeah, no, I, that was, <laughs> well, let's move on to the next one. Better than Philly bathroom cheese steak. This is the same man that we just saw. Oh, he's in the hotel room this time. No, he didn't put that in the um freaking. Uh. Oh, he got it all on the toilet paper. Oh my gosh. I know his stomach gotta be made of iron or something. So when I go to hotels, when I tell you I go back through and I clean, that's why. He's an example why. Now I know the maid service, cleaning people, they come through and they do, but uh-uh, I, I can't even trust it because of people like him. That's just, and then it's like you're making it harder for them to clean, because I'm sure you didn't clean up after yourself. I don't know, you might have, you might shock me and be like, yes I did, and I'm like, I don't know. But that is so nasty to me. You cooking in the bathroom. What is up with the, cooking in the bathroom? Is that your is that your thing? You like to cook in the bathroom? Oh my goodness. I just don't feel like this is all. This is not sanitary. I just cannot. I cannot. And he said it was good. It was success. Like I just maybe it was good, but the where you cooking it is like yeah like if this is at your home and you want to cook in your bathroom by all means do what you do that's your that is your private residence however this is a hotel and you was just on the plane cooking where people other people do come and stay i under again i understand that people like in a hotel they come back and clean but however you kind of making it harder for them and then it's like i feel like it's still gonna be something left i just i don't know he he kind of makes me cringe just where he's cooking his food. It just seems, this just seems wrong. <laughs> it seems all wrong. So yeah, let me know down below in the comments what you guys think about him and the other guy on the plane that was cooking the food um, on the plane. So let me know your opinions and your thoughts down below in the comments. And thank you for joining me today. And remember to stay safe from the Karens. And I'm out.